Good afternoon. A lot of local news to get to today, and we begin with more new developments in the Delphi murders case. So we're going to get right to it. We have updates in just the past few hours. We learned Richard Allen will stay in a state prison while he awaits trial. Judge Francis Gold denied a request to move him to a county jail. The judge also agreed to postpone Monday's hearing until next month on the agenda to decide if Allen will face additional charges for kidnapping and whether his defense team should be held in contempt for allegedly violating court orders. Also today, the Indiana Supreme Court released its full opinion. That opinion explains why justices reinstated Richard Allen's original defense team and kept Judge Gull on the case. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is here now to explain what the just justices had to say, Bob. Well, the Supreme Court released its decision a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago, but this 21 page opinion released this morning helps us understand why they ruled the way they did. On the issue of reinstating Brad Rosie and Andrew Baldwin as Allen's defense team, justices said they agreed to reappoint the lawyers because denying the request would result in substantial injustice. And they concluded the judge lacked the authority to remove counsel without considering other less drastic options. The justices recognized that both Rosie and Baldwin are well qualified to represent Allen. And they said Judge Gall failed to prove that they were ineffective. In fact, they said her conclusion that the attorneys were ineffective was too harsh, requiring the court to correct that mistake to prevent further harm to Allen's defense. But the justices also supported Judge Gall and said their decision to not remove her from the murder case is based on their finding that nothing in the record suggests the special judge's decision emerged from bias or prejudice against Allen. They said the judge was in a tough spot and was justified in having deep concerns when she learned sensitive evidence had been leaked. And the justices said she was right to try to get the situation under control quickly and decisively. Today, another important development in the Delphi murders case. 13 News has obtained this motion just filed by the defense. It shows that Allen's defense team has brought in another attorney to represent them and that this case might soon be headed to federal court. So I'm going to explain why and what that could mean for this ever changing legal battle coming up tonight at five. Another day, another whole set of new developments. Lots Down. of new documents. We'll keep working through more coming up. Another twist and another turn. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the family is still waiting for answers. Yes. Bob, thank you. You can follow all of the ongoing developments in this legal battle, along with the investigation into the murder of Abby Williams and Libby German. Just go to WTHR.com Delphi.